All right, I'm here at Texas DPS uh, to report a city official in the city of Ferris, Texas, uh, impersonating a police officer. Uh, I'm about to walk into the building to make that complaint. Uh, I'm not sure what the process entails, so I guess I'll find out once I get into the building. All right, so I'm about to head in there. Oh. No, ma'am. No. We'll be right with you then. Okay. Thank you. First name? Yes, ma'am. Um, who would I talk to about filing a complaint against, uh, you don't have to stand that close, um, filing a complaint against a city official for impersonating a police officer? Okay, you would have to do that to the police department. I've, I've done that to the police department, but I was also to told to come here to file the complaint as well. Okay, let me go check and see if we have a uh, trooper available, but in the meantime, can you get a mask? No, no, I don't wear the mask. Okay, then you all need to make sure you're standing at least six feet away. I can do that. Okay, so and uh, I'm going to ask you for right now because people do come and they go here. Okay. If you will actually stay. Can I stand over here on this side? Yeah. That's totally out of the way of the people coming in through that well, way. So I'll just. People come line up on both sides. So. On both sides? Okay. So I'll just stay away from people. How about that? How about if you stand on the other side of the. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Okay. That'll work. Okay. Yes, ma'am. If you're if, if you're trying to enforce the the spacing, why why did you stand like extra close to me when you first came out? Okay. Hi, how are you? I didn't notice that you didn't have your mask on. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. So, and I'm already here. Now with your name. Oh, okay. Okay. I, 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 I had, uh, okay. That makes sense. What's your name, ma'am? I'm Sarah. Sarah. What's your last name, Sarah? Bennett. Bennett. Bennett? 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 Then it? Okay, thank you. So I'll wait on the other side like you instructed. Thank you.
and just to get record, I'm going to go ahead and get a timestamp on this video. Um, today's date is December the 1st, 2020. It's Tuesday and it's 12.50 p.m. follow you. Thank you very much, ma'am. How you doing, sir? Have a seat there. Yes, sir. Pull our door to the zone. Thank you, sir. Talk a little bit. Sure. How are you? I'm well, sir. Uh, I am a concealed handgun carrier. Do you need to hold my firearm till we finish? No, do you have it on you? Yeah, it's in my front. I'm not okay. hostile. I'm just making a report. I, I'm just, as long as I know where it's at, we're, I'm, I'm good with that. Sure, sure. I'm a trooper foster. Who yep. are you? My name is... Well, I don't want to give that information right now. The reason why I'm here is okay. because I'm trying to file a complaint against a city official for impersonating a police officer. Okay. I have some body cam footage. Um, I was sitting in my vehicle when I was approached by one Brooks, was it Brooks Williams? He's a city manager for the Ferris, uh, city of Ferris. So he pulled up on me with emergency lights. It wasn't a police vehicle. And basically, I was under the impression that I was encountering a police officer. I addressed him as police uh, officer, and uh, he didn't correct me. So, and I have video footage of that as well. So, his vehicle did it have what color lights? Red and blues, red. Yes, sir. Red and blues. I have the footage. If you'd like to look at it, you can get a visual right now. Uh, I don't need it. I'm just trying to think of because. I can't do anything with your complaint directly on me. Mm. Uh, I'm trying to think of who else um, in our department that I can get you to talk to. Okay. Um, I do have the right place, though, for such a complaint, right? Because this is where I was instructed to, to come to. I've already filed a complaint with their police department. I've yeah. been to their city hall, and I filed a complaint there. And I was also instructed to come here as well. Who told you to come here? Um, city hall. City hall. Right. And police department. So... Before we go any f further, sir, you're Trooper Foster. Yeah. Do you have like a badge number or anything like that? Uh, one two zero eight four. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Um, let's see. Okay. okay. They may be the one that would take that kind of report from you. All right. Let's see if anybody's online. Yes, sir. How long have you been a trooper with the state of Texas? Uh, it's year 14 now. Awesome. Been a little bit. Got a long ways to go, though. Me, you can stay there. I'm yes, sir. Their office is on the other side of the wall here. Let me walk and see if anybody's Sure. I'll wait right here. Thank you, sir. Okay.
grab my glasses so I don't forget them. So yeah, on the road, I was met with a lot of extreme vehicular harassment. Uh, it's pretty common. I've been going through this for about seven years, dealing with uh, harassment from law enforcement, as well as them sending their minions out, these agent provocateurs, to stalk and harass and intentionally provoke, to, uh, provoke people to anger. I am not the only person going through this. There are many people across the United States and across the world that are going through the same type of uh, uh, harassment and uh, persecutory behavior enacted upon the uh, the target but I am here because I have tangible evidence of a crime that was committed by a city official so that's what I'm here to report this would also be a good way to find out if I am indeed on some sort of watch list because if nothing gets done about any of this uh, that may be a good indicator that the federal government is involved and they may deem this whole thing classified so we shall see we'll see how far it gets or how far uh, I get with this rather <clears throat> one thing you always want to do is try to ma uh, remain as calm as you possibly can you want to be able to articulate and speak clearly uh, so as to get across whatever it is that you're needing. Oftentimes, if you seem distraught or emotional or just exhibiting any type of emotion that is considered negative or um, unstable, <clears throat> you know, oftentimes the individuals you're trying to seek help from will try to use that against you. So it's always good to maintain a calm demeanor. Uh, when dealing with these people uh, so that uh, nothing other than that will, can be used against you. So I'm trying to make this report and uh, the trooper is telling me that he's trying to find out if there are other troopers available, but I thought the whole point of me coming in here to speaking with the trooper was, you know, to make this complaint. So now he's left his office to go seek after another uh, trooper. What they're probably doing is they're going to review footage of the parking lot and probably see which vehicle I came in and try to get a read on the license plate uh, since I didn't identify myself. Oh, okay. So you usually don't take th these types of complaints? I don't because it's not in what, what I handle. Okay. I handle like driver's license fraud and warrants. For ah. that, that's what I do in here. Okay. I but, called one of the rangers that's over there. Yes, um, sir. He said on our website on the Texas Rangers portion, Yes, sir. they have a portal there. I was going to, let me pull it up. That oh. way I can talk you through it. Where you can report the complaints like that and they go straight to them. Okay. Because the rangers are the primary ones that handle the what do they call it? Pu public corruption or public fraud. Okay. Uh, when it deals with other agencies and departments. Sure. Um, he said that's one avenue. Okay. So I'm definitely in the right place to make that type of complaint. Yeah, you, you can definitely make that with us, and they'll definitely take a look, you said. Perfect. Okay. The thing is, I'm, I'm more old school, sir. I like to do everything in person, especially yeah. matters like this. So if there's a time that I could actually come back and speak directly to a deputy, I'm what, sorry, a trooper, rather. What you can do, he said, um, you can also, he's not here today. Mm -hmm. uh, he didn't know when he'd be in. Cause with COVID, they're all doing skeleton stuff like we can only have so many in the office at a time sure um he said you can call his office number and i will give that to you perfect uh, you want me to write it down please um, and you can call that leave a message and when he's in he'll get it he'll call you set up a time okay and then you can sit down and talk with him face to face if that's something you want to do sure and so just I, so I understand it's it's easier 
to sit in front of somebody, put put face to somebody, and talk. Sure, to them. sure. So due to the COVID, just to, uh, so I'm clear, the the scheduling of, of people's schedules as far as coming in the office and things yeah, like that. Yeah, normally he, he's one of the lieutenants over the Rangers. Um, normally him and like the captain and the major, they would normally be here pretty much every day. But because of limiting how many people we have in our building and because driver's license is open, that eats up a lot of our building capacity. Sure. A lot of them work remotely now. So, okay. Um, this is his office number. All right. Lieutenant Odom. Okay. This is office number two one four eight six one two three six six. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much for your help and your time, Trooper. No problem. Uh, yeah, hopefully you can get somewhere with that. And Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. You too. Alright, so I'm going to do what the uh, troopers uh, advised me to do, so I'll just contact that trooper via his uh, phone number and set up a time to actually come in and uh, get this complaint set up. Sometimes it's important to do a walk around of your vehicle. Like I said, they sent agent provocateurs to stalk and harass and uh, destroy property and things of that nature. So I just always like to record my surroundings and everything that goes on around me. And no, when all these bad things happen, it's not coincidence. It's these individuals coordinating with each other to, to get you caught up. So thanks for watching.